Hello students, today we will start question number 3 of exercise 14.2. Now in this session I will explain sum number 1 and 2 of question number 3. Now all the sums of question number 3, what you have to do is grouping, that is you have to just take common. So let's see what exactly we have to do with question number 1. So now again we have to take common. So how many terms are given? Only two terms. This is first term is given ax square and the second term is given bx. So what is the term that you see? What is the thing that you see common in both the term? It is x, isn't it? So if it takes x as a common, fine. So common means I explained that you have to divide this ax square by x. So if I'm dividing ax square by x, so how many x is there? Two in the numerator and uh, in the denominator there is only x. So if I expand this, that is a into x into x by x. So if I reduce this, what is the answer? ax. So inside the bracket, there would be ax. Now if I divide bx with x, this x and x will be cancelled. What will remain? b. So inside the bracket, there would be only plus b. So this is a solution of sum number 1. Very, very easy students. Now let's try sum number 2. So it is given 7p square plus 21q square. So, so the variables in the first term, the variable is given p square. In the second term, the variable is given q square. So we cannot take variable as a common. But yes, there is number is given 7 in the first term and 21 on the second term. Now, it is obvious that 7 is divisible by 7, but 21 is also divisible by 7. So these two numbers are divisible by 7. So we can take 7 as a common. Okay, now if we divide 7p square by 7, this 7 and 7 will be cancelled. What will remain? p square. So, you will write p square inside the bracket. Now, if we divide 21q square with 7, that is like this, 21q square by 7. So, what will remain? 7, 3 is a 21. So, answer would be 3q square. So, you will write 3 square, q square inside the bracket. So, this is the solution of sum number 1. And sum number 2 of question number 3. So, in this period, you will do only these two sums. Okay, students, thank you very much and take care.